All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol AMD Advanced Micro Devices Inc. Before I jump into this chart, I do want to state some things. And the first thing is welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. Hope you guys find this video helpful, informative, and worthwhile. To all my subscribers i want to say thank you for your support recognition to my efforts and also engaging in conversations down below this video i'm actually doing it based off a of conversation of a comment down below of a subscriber and viewer so here we are so i really appreciate that i encourage that and i'll always try my best to fit different ticker symbols into my schedule if i can't get to a ticker symbol that you've requested I apologize to you and um, I hope to soon implement a way to go ahead and you know find a way where if I don't do a video how can I implement you know you guys receiving the information of the resistance levels the support and stuff uh, based off of uh, your request so bear with me all of you guys but I really enjoy doing this and helping you guys that's what i'm here for for us to learn grow and maximize profits and minimize losses all together right so let's zoom out and see what happened here so very bullish run in the last couple of weeks and it had a slight dip right and from there it recovered and it's leveled off and it's slowly rising again it's above the 50-day moving average so let's see what we want to see for the upcoming week Okay, so the first thing is the resistance level. And our resistance level is slightly below the highest point. The highest point of the day was 84.38 and it's 84.23. And our support is going to be a little bit below that. Let's see here. It's actually the lowest point in the day um, after after a certain period of the day, the last couple hours of the day. So this is a very narrow stretch here, and we're going to want to keep some numbers in mind because I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit so you guys can get a full glimpse of uh, what's important. So the first thing is the resistance level, 84.23. This closed out at 83.79. So it's closer to the support than the resistance. It got rejected up at um, let's see here, 84.40. I'd write that down. That's the highest point. If this resistance level is turned into a support, 84.40 is the next uh, resistance level. And if that can be broken through and used as support, this could be on its way up to newer highs and break through newer resistance levels. But before it gets there, it has to break through 84.23. That's what is the key indicator for the bulls to continue this run. Now, on the other spectrum of things is what the bears want to do, and they're going to want to cross through 83.64. The reason why this getting crossed is not so significant is because the 50-day moving average is so far away. It's actually at 82. 28 that is the 50 day moving average 8228 so once 8228 gets crossed and it's in their downward trend the bears are gaining control so if the support gets broken through of 8364 there's still quite some distance between 8228 and 8364 to fall below the 50 day moving average and fall into bearish territory. But before I get to talking more about the bearish territory, let's say 8364 gets crossed. I'd pay very close attention to it, but if it's not significantly falling quickly, um, I just keep an eye on it and just see how it does every 30 minutes to an hour. Um, maybe even closer, depending on what type of trading you're trying to do, maybe 15 minute intervals. But um, just, you know, be mindful and watch out for it. Because if this uh, support does get crossed, I'm not saying that the bears have gained any control because they have to break through the 50 day moving average. Because the bulls can reappear and take advantage of the price and bring this one back up. 
and they're not too far away from the resistance level either. Even if it was to fall here, it's like a $2 difference, $1 difference. So that is very important to keep in mind. How does it react when it crosses the support level? Now, if it moves fairly quickly and it's getting really close to 82, 28, then that's something different. I'd, I'd pay very close attention and make, you know, tell you guys to make your own rational decisions from there. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out, this is the other support level to keep in mind. And it's literally one cent above the 50 day moving average and it's 82.29. That is the lowest point that this stock reached before continuing this bullish run. So 82.29, if that gets crossed, that's when I'd say, okay, keep a very close eye on this. Because even if it crosses fairly slowly and the bulls try to bring this one back up, they're going to have to come in strong and hefty if it fell from here, broke through the support, broke through other support levels such as this one, and then through this one. And it's breaking through two things. It's breaking through the 50-day moving average and the support of when this was before the bullish run so keep that in mind if you want to write those numbers down the most important numbers is 80 to 28 50 day moving average uh second support to uh pay close attention to which is one cent above it is 82.29 support level here is 83.64 in a more zoomed in point of things and then the resistance level that the bulls want to break through to continue to break through other resistance levels and work its way up is 84.23 hope you guys found this video helpful and informative if you guys did hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell so you don't miss a single video don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watched this video share it with your friends and community and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money